If you are someone who is planning to build iOS application and want your user to access database or want to link any payments, then you need to configure something called sign-in method. Now there are different methods. I have already covered how to use email sign-in method. But if you want to go one more step ahead and if you want to include social sign-in, then you must include something called Apple sign-in. Apple sign-in is the compulsory part which you have to include when you use social sign-in. So if you want to use Google sign-in, you can use that. But before using Google sign-in, you have to link your Apple sign-in. So today I'm going to talk about that because if you are someone who has already built web applications, you know how to use Google sign-in. So you don't have to worry about that. You can just easily link it to your Superbase social authentication, the client aiding client secret. And after that, you can write the code in the suite directly. But for the Apple, if you are new and if you don't know, then this video will help you. So let's get into it. So right now, first I will show you the demo. Then only you will understand. So first my camera will go off. And in this screen, you can see, I will just bring this screen here so that you can focus it. Here I have opened this application and if I go to auth, you can see sign in with Apple. If I click sign in with Apple, you can see my name Samit Chaudhary, then sign in with passcode. Now authentication is required. I will say this one, okay. Okay, so the problem right now is that I have to use my iPhone directly. So what I will do, I will use my iPhone directly here, which you can see since I have my connected so I can easily do that. So, so in this screen which you can see is that my name is there. I can do if I change my name to something just I can do that too. If I just do save it will be saved in my superbase and whatever tweet I am writing here. So for example I am writing for YouTube demo. So okay this is not editable I am not sure. So anyways, if I do sign out, it will be signed out directly. And if I just show you the Superbase, which you can easily see. So if I just go to my Superbase directly in Comet. So this is my dashboard. Here I have my project. This is the project which I have created in the first day itself. And if I go to database and in the tables, if I go here and you can see I have code and all. So let me just go to the view in table editor. So you can see what are the profiles connected. So you can see my name is there. We've created ad and updated ad. So I updated Samik and this is the time at which I updated it. And after that, you can see that I have this code which I've saved earlier, which was not accessible right now. I'm not sure about why that was not accessible. So I need to configure that. But you get the context on how I've implemented the Supervis. Now let's get into the main part and that is how to do it yourself. So first of all, I will just do it in the right thing so that you can read it better. All right, not App Store Connect. We have to go something called Apple Developer Account in which we will get our everything. So you can see a lot of identifiers there like a lot of apps I've created earlier. So you have to go to your own app the application which you have already published it if you have not created something called app id you have to create the app id so you should just go here and you can choose your own so i will just do code widget with this description and you can see the bundle id which was actually the which is actually the app id now here you have to sign search something called apple sign in so if you see i have enabled okay so let me just go to email. So let me just search for sign in. So you can see sign in with Apple is there. I've already edit and configured it. You don't need to give server to server notification. You can just do enable as primary app ID or maybe group with existing primary app ID and you can save it. And once you save it, you can save, you can go here in the top and you can save it. So this is the first thing which you have to do. And after that, you have to go to Superbase and you have to go to authentication and you can see here sign in providers and in sign providers go to apple and just give your client id since we are doing only native configuration and we will be using ios swift directly so it is very easy just go to client id and put this id there and once you do this the apple authentication will be done automatically so let me just go to the code so if you go to here something called the auth view 
so this is the auth view so you can see i have clicked like sign in with apple button and when it is clicked uh, the scopes which are requested that is email in full name so we will wait and handle app sign in so if you go to handle app sign in this is again we are using main actor to update the ui in an instant so you can see how we are creating credential id token like this particular type this particular code is actually given by the supervised itself so if you go to here and if you go to documentation here you can see the docs which actually talks about how to write this one so i will not get into the complexity of the code i just want to tell how it is done now in the second video i will cover how you can create the database implementation how you can link database so whatever update you do in the ios application that gets updated directly to the database so till then take care and bye